This is officially the 10th episode of this series. <laughs> Honestly, with the rate at which you fellas send in good suggestions, I ought to just make these weekly. What do you reckon? That's a genuine question. Would that be too much? Uh, let me know in the comments. Anyway, if you're new, this is an ongoing series in which we take a look at fringe suggestions or edge cases sent in by viewers and investigate them. I try and pick things that I don't know or that are interesting programmatically. I am a game dev after all. And speaking of which, I usually get a sponsor lined up for these videos. I haven't done that today, but I just wanted to mention my game, Brawlquest. It's a 2D MMORPG I've spent about five years developing. There's around 100 hours worth of things to do, and I'm adding more content regularly, or at least I'm hoping to shortly. It's also completely free to play and currently doesn't have any monetization whatsoever. We will be adding in an optional £3 per month subscription fee soon, but for now, it's all totally open and free. So check it out. There's a link in the pinned comment. Okay, let's go. Anxious grasp can be used to make survivors in lockers scream. This one was submitted by Bastacool77. Anxious grasp. It's pronounced anxious gasp, but not anxious grasp. What are you doing, Tom? Read the title of the add-on. If you don't, the commenters are going to do it for you, and that's going to be frustrating. So go upstairs and re record the audio, or do this, which might be funnier. Hmm. Anxious Gasp! There's a nurse add-on that causes survivors to scream when blinking past them. As you can see survivors in lockers when blinking through them as nurse, can you cause the survivor to scream when blinking through them with this add-on? You can't stun killers during reload animations. This one was submitted by Nihama and it doesn't really require any explanation. Let's take a look. Flashlight blind duration add-ons increase zombie blindness. This one was submitted by Arc Rager DBD. You can blind Nemesis' zombies to stop them in their tracks. But what happens when using a blind duration increasing add-on with a flashlight? Will it increase the duration that they stay stunned for? Taking two Scourge Hook perks increases the number of available Scourge Hooks. This one was submitted by the Shaken Condor. When taking multiple Boon Totem perks, whichever totem you bless applies the effects of all those perks to the one actively blessed totem. So, for the new killer perk type of Scourge Hooks, which by default turn four regular hooks into Scourge Hooks, are the effects also applied onto each Scourge Hook, or does it turn a further four regular hooks into Scourge Hooks? Wow, that was, a, that was a terrible explanation, but you get what I mean, right? If four Scourge Hooks spawn, then it's safe to say that the effect of multiple Scourge Hook perks are applied to those four hooks rather than four separate hooks. Myers holds his hands open when in tombstone mode. This one was submitted by Andrew Thomas. This has been a subject of quite a lot of discussion, and I'm fairly certain he does, but I'm yet to personally see a side-by-side -side comparison, so here is a side-by-side -side comparison. Hello, it's me again, low-quality webcam. Um, I'm fairly certain that he does hold his hand open or something along those lines. It at least looks different. These images I took yesterday on Switch of him standing still show no difference. So, I think it's only when he's moving. And this post from Ghost3067 on Reddit has another side-by-side -side comparison that clearly shows a difference. So, you've learned something today. There is no difference when he's standing still, but there is when he's moving. So, there you go. Hex Blood Favor blocks Dream Palace. This one was submitted by Lumrumbi Lumrumbi. Hex Blood Favor entity blocks all palettes within 30 meters of a survivor that goes from healthy to injured. But will this affect Dream Palettes placed by Freddy? If it doesn't, then that's a surefire way of knowing what is and isn't a Dream Palette. So this is actually kind of a juicy one. Flashbangs disable hag traps. This one was submitted by Kane is cool one. The hag's traps can be destroyed by shining a flashlight on them, but will the same thing happen when dropping a flashbang near them?
And finally, two-person gens will be faster than three-person gens if a third person stands nearby with prove thyself but doesn't work on the generator. This one was submitted by Vlad Spellbinder. I'm not sure why I pronounced that Vlad Spellbinder rather than Vlad Spellbinder. Sorry, Vlad. Also, I know this wasn't quite what you were asking, but this is the way I interpreted it because I wasn't really 100% sure what you were asking. Sorry. <laughs> Prove Thyself offers a 15% generator speed repair boost for each survivor within 4 meters of your location. It applies its effect to all other survivors within 4 meters, but doesn't stack. This ability is really about counteracting the fact that you repair 15% slower for each survivor working on a generator with you. So what will happen when two survivors work on a generator with the third nearby, but not repairing? You should gain the extra 15% speed boost without taking a penalty. The question is, will this be faster than having all three survivors work on the gen? So there you have it, another 8 DVD Myths Busted, episode 10. I don't think I've ever committed to something creative this consistently before. If you have any suggestions, please feel free to check them in the comments with the word myth somewhere in the content of what you post. Hey, do you want one of these hoodies? Go to pepsi.tv and buy it. It says UK only shipping, but we do ship internationally. Great Christmas gift. It's soft. It's got my logo on it. Isn't that nice? It's a good, it's a good hoodie. But pepsi.tv. Let's go, let's go. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.